Alrighty team, the good folks over at Journal Say have sent us a box to have a look at. This one contains a whole bunch of goodies. I know that because they let me pick them out myself. I kind of went for like a more vintage kind of color palette with this one, trying to get some items so that maybe one day I might start a reading journal because this is the kind of aesthetic that I like for reading journals. But that aside, let's have a look at what's in the box. As you can see, the box got a little bit beat up in transit, but having glanced inside the box, everything looks perfectly fine and has arrived safely. As per usual, we're gonna get everything out of the box and work through in a more systematic order because there is a lot to go through in this box, so we're gonna have to group them by category. These are the majority of the piles we're working with. I also have this one that didn't quite fit into the shot, but we're gonna start with our first collection of items is washi tape and we have four different rolls to have a look at. I got all of these because they were vintage style and I wanted them to fit with all of the other decorative elements that I got in this box. For our first one here, the first little bit of the tape is exposed so it can kind of be sealed shut. But then after that we do have a paper backing so it's a lot easier to unroll. But you can see this one has kind of like script letters little postage stamps, that kind of thing. It's a nice wide tape, so I'm gonna find it really good for decorative purposes. This next one has a little bit of masking tape holding it shut, which I found that that first one, I actually ripped the paper or ripped the tape trying to pull it up, so the masking tape is kind of nice but you can see it's also paper backed. If we roll this one out, you can see this one's kind of like anatomy based. So we've got arm bones, rib cages, hands, kind of script. It does have script in English. Look for a guy who will accept you beyond what eyes can see. Love you for who you are and what you can become. A guy who would cherish you more than his peace, peers? I don't know that one. Who will not treat you as his girl, but his life. Okay, a little interesting, but I mean, it's scripty enough that I'm probably not gonna be paying too much attention to it. It's also in a color that's not so dissimilar from the background that it doesn't stand out like super lots. I mainly got it because I like the bones. Our third one is kind of like ticket inspired and this one is stuck to itself. But again, eventually we get past that. We have paper backed as well, which is good because this tape is sticky like it is really gonna stick to whatever you're putting it on i think it's interesting that the vintage ticket says vintage ticket on it but it's quite cute these are actually a lot bigger than i was expecting them to be but that's gonna be a nice kind of like larger sections of decoration on pages this last one has a bit of tape on it here and it has a little tie around it because this is a craft paper tape which means that when I pull this off, it is most likely going to rip the craft paper underneath it. It's just what happens. The same thing happened from my stationary pal craft paper tape, and I love that tape. So this one you can see though, instead of having a simple grid on it, has text as well. It is in English, but it doesn't seem to have anything, again, too scandalous. I quite like text-based tapes. I think that they make for really good decoration. You can see we do have a gap where we meet the kind of like next print, but the print is fairly long. So you're gonna get a good amount of kind of text, I suppose, before you have to consider the gap or the break. There's a section in the middle here that just says no trouble, no trouble, no trouble, no trouble, no trouble. <laughs> I feel like they need to get that lorem impusum whatever that like text that looks like it's actual text but it really is just gibberish. For our next category we have these little kind of paper packs but they're actually stickers. So each of these have 30 vintage craft paper stickers. I couldn't pick which one I liked the most so I just got four of them. <laughs> you can see that the four I got were the former day's objects, burned down plants, coffee notes, and lacy poem letter. So each of the little pockets has the little stash of items inside. Rectangular papers, and I think there's two of each design it seems. So doing a quick little go through. These are the kind of things we have. You can see they're all very vintagey. They've got that kind of like pale brown kind of color palette or some little pinks and some beiges, that kind of thing. As the packaging said, these are stickers, so you can pull away the backing and then See, it stays stuck because it is a sticker. Having a look at our next lot, these ones are the burn down the plants, so they've got more irregular edges as if it's kind of burnt, which makes sense given the name. 
little butterfly burnt pieces and little flowers and again I think we do have roughly two of each of them I think there might have only been one of one of them but like Still, you've got, you know, if you use one once and you liked it too much, at least you've got a backup, which is kind of nice. Looking through our coffee notes ones, going through those, I think all of these kind of have a little bit of, yeah, coffee rings, coffee stains, kind of like aged look to it, I suppose you could say. It's like a little ticket. And these ones are irregular shapes again, but not irregular kind of wiggly edges, but more just like different shapes. And then the lacy poem letter. These ones are all rectangular, but they've all got some kind of like script on them. Lace kind of bits, which makes sense because it's literally lacy poem letter. Like all of them have a little bit of lacy bit on them. I think that these are gonna work really well, like for layering and you know putting down the washi tape and then putting down these little bits and pieces and then putting down some other things that I got in this collection too. As you can probably expect, all of these items are linked in the description box below and I will try to label them as best I can. These four are all the same listed item, but different variants of the listed item over on Journal Say. These ones were similar in that they're all the same listed item, but different variants. So they all say the age of steam on them, which is kind of cute. But each of these packs contains 20 sheets of vintage, dual material, terrible material, paper art, memo pad, DIY, journal, decoration, paper. I do always find the names of the items on websites like Journal Say to be a little bit interesting because obviously there's like a lot of keywords. Amazon does exactly the same thing and I've seen the same thing on Stationery Pal. I liked these ones because they were a little bit bigger compared to the other pieces of paper that we looked at. And they aren't sticky backed, they are just papers. But I think they'd make really good bases for collages. So you start with a piece of paper like one of these and then layer things on top of it to build up your collaging piece. Obviously we're not looking at every single design in a lot of detail, I just wanted to give you a feel for what to expect in each of the packs. I got six different ones, but this is one of those items that is listed as an individual item on the Journal Say website with multiple variations. In each pack though we have 10 different paper designs and then we've got each of those printed one on vellum or like see-through transparent paper and one on just regular paper. All of these papers were really nice and thin as well, so if you're using them in your journal, you're not going to add a lot of bulk, which is kind of nice. One of the issues that I take with adding 160 GSM paper is that you're effectively doubling the thickness of my journal pages when I do that, which over time can add some strain to things like my elastic closure. But that's also why I don't do it quite so much. Papers like these though, much thinner, won't add as much bulk. Most of these I'm pretty sure that I am going to use, but when it came to the people and the face kind of pack, those ones I'm not too sure about, just because if I'm collaging, I wouldn't want to place things over the top of their faces, or if I'm using the paper in a way where I'm ripping it up, I wouldn't want to rip through their faces. That, that would make me a little sad. For the rest of these though, I love the kind of vintage aesthetic. I love that we have like the kind of steampunk elements with the flying ships and the boats and all of this. Obviously I'm not very good at describing what steampunk kind of looks like, but hopefully from the visuals you can kind of get what I mean. <laughs> Certainly some that I'll get some good use out of and some that I might let go, just because they're not quite the style of papers I'd like to use, but there is at least something from every pack that I will be holding on to. Like I said, I think that these kind of papers make really good bases for collages because they're a little bit decorative and then you can just layer bits on top of them to kind of build up whatever it is you're working on. Continuing with our paper bits and more vintage style paper bits, we have a bunch of little books of different kind of little paper cards and stuff like that. And then a couple of slightly larger ones, one that says the book of Mark and one that says the book of coffee. This one is a tiny book of old coffee, so it's like four centimeters by six centimeters. And each of these is just like a coffee stained paper look, which I just thought was very cute. We have 50 little sheets in here and they've all just got like different kind of coffee rings and coffee stained paper and little kind of splotches of different browns and stuff. Other ones in a similar style we have were the little book of astrology. These ones are actually vellum papers and they kind of give me like tarot card vibes. Like a lot of the decoration feels like tarot cards. I'm probably more inclined to use the coffee one than I am the astrology one just because tarot card designs aren't really my aesthetic. But I do like the fact that they're vellum and they are pretty cute. We have the little book of daily things which is mainly like ledges and 
kind of time sheets or expense sheets and stuff like that. And these ones are again on vellum. One that I'm certainly going to use is the Little Book of Letters. And again, this one is on vellum and it's just got kind of like old timey letters. Looks like they're from quite a while ago with their like fancy script lettering that's a bit scratchy and then like kind of aged look to the pieces of paper. Along with the tiny books we have one that's kind of like medium sized. You can see that there are two distinct sections in this one. So we have the bottom section which is all on kind of browns and like kind of craft paper backing. And then the ones on the top are printed on white paper. Some of the ones on the white paper I'm probably less likely to use because they're not really my aesthetic. Then we're on to the Book of Mark. And the reason that I got this one is because I just liked the fact that it's like an old school book. Like it looks aged, but you're not ripping up an actual book. So I can rip pieces of this out as if it was actual book paper and stick it in. So if I was doing a book theme, I don't have to mutilate an actual book to get old book page aesthetic. And then along with the Book of Mark, we have the Book of Coffee, which as you can probably expect, has coffee stained paper. <laughs> or paper that has coffee rings, coffee splotches, all of that kind of stuff. And it's all on different stuff. So this is like an address book, whereas this is a newspaper. And we've got an art book. Somebody spilled coffee on an art book, so rude. So all of these would be the kind of collage items that go on top of the base paper except for possibly the bigger ones. They could probably be base paper. We then have some packs that have both paper and stickers, and I believe there are 10 sheets of paper in each and then 45 or so stickers. So having a look one by one, we'll have a look at this one first. In terms of the papers, we have some vellum ones with florals and then also some regular paper with florals, but the papers are different. We don't have the same design for the vellum and the regular paper. After this, we have the stickers, which are all matte finish, but they've got a shiny back. So if you see any that are kind of reflecting the light in this pack, it's because that's the back of the sticker and I need to flip them over. But we've got a bunch of different things, some mushrooms, we've got some little floral pieces, bird, bird. If I move this to the side, you can kind of see what we've got. Florally bits, paper bits, all of that kind of stuff. I don't know how I'm going to organize all of these. I don't have very good sticker organization as it is at the moment. <laughs> Having a look at the next one. So again, we've got the paper and the stickers in here. So looking at the paper first. And then in terms of the sticker elements, if we tip those out. Oh, nice. These ones are all kind of uniform in terms of their shape, which is makes it probably a little bit easier to organize them. And then this set was more related to, I think, coffee and food, because oftentimes I find like in junk journaling and such, people have these little cute pictures of food and like cafe life and stuff, and I never had any, so I wanted to get some. And again, these stickers are all a bit more uniform, which is kind of nice, but they're all just like food bits, which is cool because then I can use them in my journal. Like when I do those recommendation idea videos and I'm like, oh yeah, you can have a food diary and put in pictures of your food. Like I actually have little photos of food now. And I mean, yeah, sure, it's not my food, but it's just an example. Ooh, cute little drink. I like that. Because we touched on stickers, it's probably also good to note that I got some sticker packs. These are all super pretty kind of like vellum or washi stickers and the stickers aren't individually cut so I will have to cut them out myself but I do think that they'd work well together to make a nice cohesive theme. I don't necessarily know what I'd call the theme though but they're all kind of the same color palette and they all feel very dainty and pretty so not really akin to what I typically do, right? <laughs> These ones were also listed as the same item, but they're called like 30 sheets, transparent PET bronzing sticker pack. And I got the English dictionary, the old at the time and between the line sets. I will say, I think that the journal say website does pretty good to show you what kind of things to expect in each of the packs. Like when there's an item with multiple variants, it does well to show you what kind of things to expect in each of them. So for our English dictionary, it's effectively a bunch of different English words and their 
definitions. Hopefully you can kind of see the bronzing. I know that there's obviously the shine because it's a PET tape, but the bronze is actually really pretty too. Some of them are just black. Let's see if I can get a piece of white paper behind this. This makes way more sense. Possibly all of them come with like one shiny option and one not so shiny option. <laughs> you can kind of see what we're getting at here. So we have some that are the gold or like the bronze, I suppose, and then some that are just kind of like flat color. This next set is the old at the time ones. So it's got things like newspaper article bits, kind of like little clippings, headings, that kind of stuff. And again, they're all on the PET, so they're gonna work really nicely on white paper and almost look like it's printed on to the white paper, which is pretty cool. And for the between the lines one, it's mainly kind of headers, I think. I do like that they've all got that kind of like burnt edge, so it kind of looks like you're poking through, like peeking through the paper, once you stick it down on the paper, that is. Because they are differently shaped, they're not like a flat rectangle or square. Again, I am interested to see how I'm going to store these. <laughs> back into the papers and this is kind of our transition zone so going from our vintage style items into our not so vintage style items and we'll work our way across for our vintage papers we have this little stash here which has a vellum sleeve which is kind of cute and again it's just a bunch of vintage papers that i can use for the collaging and junk journal whatever else we're calling it there seems to be at least two of each design, which is nice. So if you stuff up using the first one, you at least have a backup. <laughs> this one's just got a variety of different colors. It feels a bit softer than some of the other ones we've seen. So pinks and beiges more than kind of darker browns. This one is done up with a little bit of twine. And I think that these pieces, or at least the ones on top, feel a little bit more kind of like handmade. So they're the kind of like fibrous paper pieces. Kind of just add some texture to your pages when you use them. I think we've got about three pieces of that one. And then we have a kind of craft textured paper, which they're very delicate. And I think we've got about five pieces of those ones. Because they're handmade, they don't necessarily have a consistent kind of design or finish so if we look at two of these pieces you can see that there are differences between them but it kind of gives them character oh i thought i only had three of these but it turns out it's actually a lot thinner than i thought it was and i actually have five of that too we've also got some regular vellum paper we've got five pieces of that too and then after that we have some tissue paper which is very very thin we have some thicker craft Hard kind of paper. I like that this pack has all of these different textures in it and they're all very neutral. This one has, I think you can possibly see like the little lines in it, but it is a much thinner craft colored paper. And then we've just got the piece of card that comes on the back. And then you could also use the piece of twine in your junk journaling too. But after this, we have a six by six or roughly 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters pack of scrapbooking paper. This one is not quite what I was expecting because these are stickers, but it also has like holographic foiling on it. It just doesn't really fit the vibe. It's like a gold holographic, like it's pretty, but it's odd. So we've got some stickers with the gold holographic foiling. For this one in particular, I would have preferred it was just flat gold. But after these ones, we do just have some more general papers. I will say that the edge of this one seems to have some glue on it. The kind of glue that they would typically put along here so that it's like a flip book. But it seems that this side has also gotten some. So it's a little bit sticky, which is unfortunate. But you can kind of see a summary on the back here of what to expect in the notepad. The papers are nice, the foiling is a little strange, the stickiness is unfortunate. Heading into the realm of brighter colours, so we've got some polka dot paper and some metal textures. You can see these ones are dots in mainly a darker kind of colour palette, but I just love polka dots, so I really wanted to get it. <laughs> I'm not too sure how I'm going to use these ones, probably just as decoration in other types of setups. So a theme where these colours would make sense rather than just doing like a polka dot theme, which I mean like, you know, is a very nice and simple theme, but not probably one that I will explore. This paper is a bit thicker because it's kind of like a scrapbooking paper, not as thick as some scrapbooking papers I've used. But if I stick a lot of this in my journal, it will add bulk over time. So only for smaller pieces of decoration. I mean, it does say on the packaging that it's 160 GSM. So the thickness was kind of to be expected. And then for our other one, 
As the title probably suggested, we have a bunch of different kind of metal textures, so like rusted metals and like the kind of you know pattern that you get on, I don't know, steel? I, I have no idea what it's actually called. I like the rust patterns though, and the vibrancy is very pretty. This one's obviously a little bit more subdued, but we have ones that are quite vibrant, with like a kind of patina effect, which is quite pretty. Again, like the package suggests, this one has 12 sheets and is 160 GSM. But these were only the first of our colored items. We also have these butterfly stickers because I saw the butterflies and then I saw all the colors and I couldn't pick which one I wanted, so I got five of them. Each of these has 40 pieces and they come in a range of different styles of butterfly. We're not gonna look at all of them because again, that would just be a lot. We will look at this one though and also the blue ones. Or at least I feel like when people mention butterflies, it's either the blue or the orange ones that kind of come to mind. So we do have a repeat of some of the designs, which is quite cute, but they're all kind of like semi-realistic looking, very pretty. While in the orange pack, most of the butterflies looked fairly realistic. There were some in the blue pack that looked a little bit more stylized or a little bit more painted, but I think that these sets would be absolutely excellent for doing a monthly setup because you have 40 butterflies in each pack and have at least two of each of the butterflies from what I could tell. That is plenty of stickers to do a full monthly setup. It's making me almost want to open the other ones, but no, we have other bits to look at. I don't think I can justify doing five months in a row of butterflies, but they are beautiful and I am tempted. <laughs> On to items that I knew I didn't need, but I didn't care and I got them anyway, we have mild liners. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a completionist when it comes to my pens, and these are the colors of mild liners I didn't have. These four are part of another set of five, which has a cyan or like a bright blue, but I already actually had the bright blue. So we'll add him in for completion, but you can see I effectively got three five packs minus one pen. <laughs> I think of the sets that I've got, this is probably my favorite. I'm not usually a kind of like lighter tone pastel kind of person, but I think that these colors look nice together. We'll open them up though and we'll do a little swatch. It was nice to get my hands on some mild liner oranges that aren't fluorescent. And I also quite like the pastel blue. I think that one's quite pretty. And the pastel pink, which again, isn't a fluorescent pastel pink. I am gonna have to make a proper mild liner swatch in my long-term collections journal at some stage because I think half the reason that I don't use my mild liners as much as I could is because I haven't swatched the colors out. So I don't necessarily know what colors I have. I mean, you can tell from the caps, but sometimes there's slight differences between the caps and the actual pen color. That's not as big a problem in the mild liners. They're usually pretty true to form, but because I don't have a good knowledge of the colors I do have, I'm not, but because I don't have a good knowledge of the colors I do have, they're not usually the ones that I would go to first. Typically I'll pick up a Tombow or maybe a Calliograph. I'd like to use my mild liners more though. But here we have the full collection of the mild liners that I got as part of this box, including that extra cyan color and the metal at the bottom because that one I already had. Quite a pretty range of colors though, and I'm glad to add them into my collection. A whole heap of goodies, mainly vintage, but also some fun colors. And remember, if you want to get yourself something from Journal Say, you can use my code JASHYCORIN to save 8% on your order. We love savings. I do need to go and find a home for all of these items, but if you enjoyed our unboxing content and you want to see some more, we do have a full playlist of my previous unboxings, so click or tap on that one and I'll see you over there.